welcome to a slightly different vlog this time. Um, this time I'm going to do a book review on a particular caravan called the Lilliput Caravan. Now this book, when I got it, um, I was somewhat amazed by the quality of this book. And uh, just take a look. And before I go any further, just bear in mind, I'm not being paid to do, this is not a paid commercial or anything like that. Um, this is just my review on a book that, I, that I've got, and I'll be doing a lot of these book reviews. So, getting back to the book. The book is called One Man's Dream. And it's the unique world of the Liverpool caravans. And its author, um, a very talented Rob Carthew. And if you look at the book, I mean, <laughs> it's 445 pages. And the quality of this book is just absolutely amazing. Even when you first open it to the very first of the binding, if I can show you this. And the binding, it's not just plain paper, it's a whole lot of caravans inside. Um, it's uh, It truly is a remarkable book. Um, and uh, Rob Carfew from the Lilliput Caravan Club decided to gather a whole lot of information about Lilliput caravans and their owners and as many Lilliput caravans as he could find and incorporated them all into this book and this book is also dedicated to the memory of one of the secretaries of the club Margaret Larson um, who was a very very lovely lady indeed uh, now the things that this book has, it's just, I mean, it's full of pictures and, and stories, but it goes right back to the beginning, the early days of the 1960s, when the Leopold Caravan was first produced in Auckland, New Zealand, by a very talented Bruce Webster, and uh, he started building the first ones out of... Um, I think aluminium over ply in the 1960s. Uh, the very first one, I think, was a, a little 10 footer, and uh, and then there was a 12 foot. These were aluminium over ply Lilliput caravans. Um, the book goes on to show you all the pictures and details about the early days in the 1960s when these were first made, and um, and on to the very very popular caravan called the. Uh, gazelle. Now, if I can show you a picture of a gazelle here, it's the 10 foot 6 fiberglass caravan, and um, I've got a picture of one here that you uh, can see. That's the gazelle, and um, so it goes through to cover all the different uh, models, makes, etc. Because he also did a um, excuse me for flipping the pages in front of you. Um, he also did a very, well, it wasn't that popular, but a very good caravan, all the same, was the Lilliput 12 foot 6. And there was only about, roughly about 27 of them built. And uh, that's the one that we currently have, is the 12 foot 6. But the book is just full of stories and how people found their caravans and did them up and how beautiful they look. Um, it's just truly amazing. Um, the, the quality of these these caravans. Now here's a the 12 foot 6 I was going to show you. That's it there. Um, it has the little corner windows in it as well. Um, so uh, yeah, this is this is a fantastic book. And uh, for, as I say, 445 pages. And um, but there's all sorts of uh, stories in here about the early days of the Lilliput caravans through the 60s, the 70s, right up to the current day, um, and about the uh, the pitfalls of the crash of 1979. Um, the, um, uh, it's just, yeah, it's truly mind-blowing, this book. Um, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to get a copy of this book. Um, One Man's Dream, it's called. And... Um, it's, it's, it just blows me away, the quality of it. Um, it talks about, so also about the, um, 
the Little Hook Caravan Club um, in its very first days, the very first rally and, um, and so on, uh, about how it grew and the emerging groups in different regions, etc. Um, and on to the, they very recently had the 30th anniversary of the Little Hook Caravan Club. Uh, which was held in Taupo, at the Debrett's Motor Camp in, in, in Taupo. Um, and uh, we were fortunate enough to go along there, and um, uh, they have very, very good rallies. Um, and we were fortunate enough to go along and uh, win the major raffle um, at the 30th anniversary. There's a model of a um, Lilliput caravan uh, made by... Um, a very talented gentleman by the name of Ron Simmons and he built this model and it's got um, it sits on a cabinet with uh, uh, drawers underneath that has uh, a furnace flask, uh, not a furnace flask, a whiskey flask um, and holders and and the detail in the caravan itself this model is um, and it's sitting on a campsite which is site 30 to celebrate 30 years of the Little Book Caravan Club. So, um, yeah, so it's truly amazing. Um, and I'll also show you some photos of um, of the type of rallies they have. Some of them are quite hard case. I remember one in Rotorua. At, um, I think the theme was um, the hillbillies. <laughs> and some of the outfits, oh my, they were really, really impressive. So anyway, getting back to the book, this is all, a lot of these things are covered in, in the book and, and there's, um, there's all the ownership histories um, and it talks about the Lilliput family um, and the people in the club, the ages, I think, well, from children right up to, uh, we have a, a lady in the 90s that used to tow her caravan around by herself and she had one of the gazelles that are mentioned in this book. Um, so... I'm not going to go into too much detail now um, or any further about this book because truly it's something that you have to read and see for yourself to appreciate it. There are all sorts of things. There's line drawings of the caravans. There's, um, yeah, it's just mind-blowing, um, all the things that uh, this book contains. So 445 pages and extremely well done uh, effort uh, by Rob Carfew. Um, I'll just read a little bit off the back so then you can see uh, what this book's about. It says, One Man's Dream celebrates a new wave of interest in modern retro caravanning, highlighting the world of the iconic Lilliput brand manufactured in Auckland during the 1960s and 70s. This book also honours the 30th anniversary of the Lilliput Caravan Club of New Zealand. A written and visual uh, voyage, One Man's Dream explores not only the past history of design and ownership, but also how people have customised, refurbished and enjoyed their caravans, along with some of the vehicles which now tow them, and there's some pretty impressive combos as well. So there you go, One Man's Dream. Um, as I said, I'll put a link in the description below so you can have a look and if you want a copy. And believe it or not, 445 pages, a hardback book like that, I'm impressed. You'll be able to pick it up for about $40 plus postage, so there you go. All right, well, uh, we will uh, leave it at that, and we'll catch you on the next um, vlog. So um, happy caravanning, happy holidays, happy memories, and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.